Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Survival Stories 3. I am your host, Renovate, and today, guys, is episode number 18. We're going to do a little bit more in Batania just this episode, and then maybe next episode we'll move on. I just want to kind of keep it interesting, hop, skip, and jump around to the individual mods. So, hopefully you're enjoying the series, guys. I'm sorry I haven't gotten one uploaded in a while, but uh, we've been, been really busy, so... Uh, let's get started, episode number 18. If you're enjoying the series or any of my videos, please click that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It helps us grow our channel. And also check out the links in the description below to the other YouTubers on this Midnight Skies server. And if you're interested in joining us, please go to the link also that's below. There is an app and we are taking applications for the server. Uh, even if you're pretty new to YouTube, but you got a pretty good understanding of modded Minecraft, we'd like to see you. So, check out, check that out. And, uh, anyways, let's get started on episode number 18, guys. Anyways, I was noticing in my intro that it looks like I only have one bat wing. Do you see that? Just off my shoulder. But, yeah, I only have one bat wing. That's kind of weird. I guess I can only fly in one direction. I don't know. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I haven't I haven't recorded in quite some time on Survival Stories Three. I've been really involved in the uh, Infinity Expert mode, as you guys have probably seen on my channel. But uh, I finally got caught up, and we're getting back into uh, Survival Stories Three, which I'm really happy about because I really miss this pack and the people who are playing on it. Um, but yeah, it looks like everybody's been putting their heads here. That's kind of funny. Um, I have been dressing up the place a little bit. I kind of didn't like the way that it was going. I had all the stuff in the middle here and I just didn't like it. So we moved everything. I still got some holes in the ceiling and stuff, but I moved everything over to here instead of out here in the middle. Kind of makes the room feel bigger and a little bit more spacious, spacious. And, um... So yeah, we got the same same setup. This is our our um, setup for uh, I guess this is our Ender Quarry stuff. Yeah, this is our Ender Quarry. This is just generalized stuff. This over here is just the Ender IO stuff that we had set up uh, for like smelting alloys and making ingots. This is our painting machine I went ahead and made, uh, and I also went ahead and set this up. This is a magma crucible. Uh, in case we need to do like glowstone, redstone, or enderium. Uh, but the way I got this set up is I don't have this connected to anything right now. It's just sitting there. And so what I can do is I can tell it to go to this one, and then this one will fill up that tank. Or I can tell it to go up, it'll fill that tank. Or I can tell it to go this one and fill up that tank. So that's kind of an easy way of doing it. And I've been doing everything in resonance. It's been taking me forever, but we got quite a bit in storage now. And if you remember, we had that whole thing over here filled up. So that's where all that's coming from. Um, and I think that's about it. I've added some more birch, kind of dressed up the room, uh, and there is something upstairs I want to show you, and that's kind of, uh, I might get into that later on today, but, uh, if you look at the back side of this, you can see how I did the setup. I had to change, uh, channels, or not channels, but cables, because the black got filled up. That's the black channel, and this is the blue channel. So now the new channel is going to be blue. And if we go downstairs, you'll be able to see that. And it looks kind of bright. It's kind of cool. I kind of like the blue. It's kind of cool. But you can see up there, if you look at my GUI, it says you got 7 of 8 channels, which is good. This is only a 7 of 32. But if we go down here and look at where the trunk comes in for the black, we are at 30 of 32 channels. And I wasn't able to add these other ones down here. There's about, what was that, 7 channels? Uh, so I was only able to take 2 of those. So I split them up. We got new cables. And then also we have this one on the back. And this is what I've also been working on. That's the brown channel. So if we go up, if we go up one more time, this is what I've been working on. Um, as you know, I wanted to get into crafting. And since we're going to be doing uh, a, a, bigger, a bigger mining age quarry, uh, I wanted to make sure that we had enough space so we can start auto crafting pretty much anything we want. So... What I did is each one of these is a bank of four. So there's four, eight, 16, 24, and then we'll have another eight here. Uh, but the way I got these set up is I'm almost, we're at 31 of 32 channels. So I'm not gonna be able to add 
uh, any more on this brown. So this is the maximum I can do. I could probably add one more, and that's about it. And the reason is I got all these crafting units over here, and it's pulling these in. And the reason I want to do all these is so every time we want to craft something, this is going to allow us to craft it. We can craft up to, uh, there's seven items there. So we can craft seven items at one time, and that's how that's all set up. So I wasn't, I didn't know that we were already that filled. 31 of 32 channels. Holy crap. Okay. So we might have to look, go back and look at that. Um, we'll probably get into that next episode. But today, guys, I wanted to build something in uh, Batania. And if you remember last episode, we were trying to figure out how to get mana from there up to here over to here um, and what I just did was did mana spreaders you know I think we put those away but uh, what I wanted to build today guys was something that's going to allow us to get flowers at will uh, and a way of doing that is by making uh, I don't have my Batania book figures uh, I have to go get it but I can just go in here and type in Batania what we want to make is a certain type of flower and it's called uh let's see it's right the jaded uh amaranthus and basically what that thing does is it grows all the all the main botanical uh, botania plants around it and then what we want to do is we want to automate this so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a drum of the wild and the drum of the wild basically uh allows the plants to get picked as soon as the amaranthus uh, plants them so it's kind of a, an automation of Batania without using red red uh, uh, RF power or anything like that so that's what we're gonna set up today hopefully the video is helpful uh, let me go get my Batania book I don't remember what I put it because I've been moving everything around I did put all our plants in here but I can't seem to really remember where I put my book uh, so let me get my book we'll get started be right back so guys, what we want to do first is I got my book out, and the thing that we're wanting to make right now is the jaded amaranthus. All right. So uh, what we need right now, we have the runes because I made runes between videos, and you guys watched how that was done. But we got the mystical green, we have a mystical purple, a mystical lime, and then we just have a two purples that we got to drop in the mana pools. We also need this redstone root. So the redstone root is going to be what did i just do let's go back mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh boom the redstone root is some grass and some redstone so i don't think we have any grass because i've been picking it all but i do have my shears so let's go see if we can find is this just regular grass can we click on that what'd we get was that grass that's damp grass i don't know if that'll be the same or not uh let's just go down here to the regular area and get some grass Bam. There we go. We got some grass. That's cool. So let's go back up here. Let's go over here and let's grab some redstone. Let's type in. Oh, I didn't even need to. So there's one. Oh, we already have a piece of redstone. So let's do this and this, and that's going to give us our redstone root. Awesome. Okay, let's take this over here. We did get a seed. Uh, we need to go ahead and fill this up with the water. There we go. And then we need to get two purples. So let's get a purple plant. And here's a mystical purple. And we didn't need all of them, but we might as well change them anyways. So I don't know why we didn't do this anyways. Um, so we need two purples to drop in the uh, pool. We need one regular purple. And then what else did we need? Let's go back and go back, go back. Let's just go back. There we go. Uh, a purple, we needed a lime and a regular green. So let's get that. So we need, here's a regular green and here is a lime. And then we need a rune of spring, which I believe I made. Yeah, we got one rune of spring. So we are set. Let's go over here to our mana pools and let's just jump down here and let's drop these two purples in here. One two cool and let's jump back up here and let's see we need to go over here let's turn these into petals and let's just line these up so we get these in the right order and then those two purples and then we need this and then we need this wait 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 let's go back to the book 
Okay, I guess we dropped the rain of spring in these. I wasn't familiar with dropping this, those things inside here. So then we also need this right here. So let's take one of those out, one of those out, and I think we're ready. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's drop, uh, let's drop this in there, this in there, that in there, that in there. One of those, one of those, one of those, and bam! So there we go. So this is the jaded uh, amaranthus. And basically, if we plant it right here, I got to watch what happens because I think this thing's got a really wide radius on it. Uh, but it basically uh, will plant around it, but it needs mana. Uh, and then it also needs a way of, uh, when I do the, the one that breaks it, um, it's going to break a really wide area. So... Well, let me get, uh, we're going to have to get some mana up here. That's that's going to be tough because I got mana shooting from here. So we might have to have mana coming up and then have a couple of jumps over to here. Well, let me go ahead and get that set up so I got this thing ready for some mana. Um, and then I think I just need a mana pool like sitting right here and this thing will work. And then um, we'll come back and we'll get the rest set up. I'll make a little perimeter so we know where the plants are going to grow. Be right back. All right, guys, so I got the perimeter set up. This is a uh, seven by seven perimeter. I think it can actually go out to nine by nine, but I don't need that many flowers. And then to get some mana over there, I just set up a, um, uh, a mana spreader here and then shot it over to there. And as you can see, I went and turned the system on downstairs so we'll start generating some mana. So this is shooting over here and it's getting inside that pool and it's, it's filling up you know, as quick as it can. Um, but the, I forgot the one thing that we're going to need before we start this is once this thing starts growing flowers and we get the, the drum of the wild to break them, there's a plant that actually will suck them all in and it's called a hopper hawk. And we want to plant that just about right here and then we're going to put a chest right beside it because uh, if there's a chest near it, it's gonna actually going to suck in all of the plants. So the next thing we need to build, well, let's go ahead and put all this stuff back up here. We actually need to make another one of these. And wrong grass. That's damp grass. And let's go back into our system because I think there was we left one in there. So, yep, there it is. Good. So let's grab that. And let's head back over here. And then let's look at our book real quick. And I already had it pulled up. So we're going to need a, a mystical gray, a light gray, a mystical light gray, and a gray. So looks like light gray... This is a mystical. So this one's tossed into the mana pool, and this one's tossed in. So we need two grays and two light grays and a rune of air. Let's make sure we have the rune of air first. So we have rune of earth, spring, water, fire, and good, we do, we do have the air. So let's go ahead and grab uh, the grays. Here is light gray, and then here is, is that light gray, and this is just the regular gray. Whoops, didn't need them all. Eh. Okay, let's do this again. Boom, there. And then since these actually turn into two, there's a light gray and there's gray. And let's just make sure that's exactly what it said. So it's a uh, light gray and light gray, light gray, gray and gray. Okay, so we just need to drop those two in this mana pool. There should be enough mana in this one. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, hopefully. And yeah, there is good. And that, good. So that's all we need. So we need to go back over here. Let's get our bucket out. I tore off the mana pools and our mana spreader over there, so I'm actually just going to drop them in here. We don't need them right now. And let's get our bucket, like I said. Get some water, put it in there. And then let's go ahead and line these up. So we need uh, the rune of air, and then we need uh, this one and this one and we need some seeds any seeds in here no we do not let's go see if we had any seeds in here yes we do let's just take them all because uh botania is going to need a lot of seeds you need a seed for every time you do one of these so let's drop uh this one in there and this one and this one this one this one this one and finally the seeds bam there's our hopper hawk cool so if we put the hopper hawk right here it's going to suck in anything that's around it 
And then all we do, all we need now is a chest. Let's see if we already have a chest made. I don't think I do. We do not have one, but we can go ahead and make one. So let's put that there. And then let's get the iron out and let's just surround this with iron. And we could actually go ahead and upgrade this to the gold. Let's go ahead and put these away. Let's go up to gold. Let's get our gold and surround it by gold. There, that should be big enough. The gold chest. And let's run back over here and we'll put this right here. So all the flowers are gonna get sucked in by this. And then once they get sucked in, they'll go into here. So if I, this should work. If I drop a seed right there, it should pick it up. And it did, and it put a seed in there. So that's how that works. That's cool. All right. So the next thing we need to do is make uh, a, we need to make a mana spreader, but we need to make a, 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 a uh, man, my lips are not working, a specific one called a redstone uh, mana spreader because the drum of the wild works off of a signal. So we need to somehow give it a signal and that would be the, the redstone mana spreader. So let's go ahead and get in our book and let's go in here and let's see I don't know if it's going to be natural apparatus. Nope. Uh, basic mechanics. Nope. Bobbles. That's not it. Ender artifacts. Nope. Nope. Miscellaneous. Where would that be at? I'm not seeing it. Spreader turntable. We're getting close, right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, let me find it real quick, guys. And uh, I'm just not seeing it. And we're pressing on everything. Here's mana spreader. Okay. We need a redstone mana spreader. So maybe it's on the next page. There it is. Redstone mana spreader. Excellent. So how do you make that? Regular mana spreader and a piece of redstone. How simple is that? So do we still have a piece? Yes, we do. We have that and that. So that's what we need. This thing is going to go uh, up on top of this. And what it's going to do is going to pull mana out of this pool. And then that's how it's going to be able to send stuff to the drum of the wild. Now the drum of the wild is going to sit right on top of this bad boy. So let's go ahead and set this up. Let's use our dirt like this and set this up about right there. And then what we need to do now, let me get my shovel because I, I forgot in this Mac, this mod pack, uh, you get you get the little uh, enemies from the dirt. We need to make a drum of the wild. So let's get inside here. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, where did we see that the last time? It's not in there. And let's go back. Mana manipulation. I don't think we're manipulating anything. Uh, the drum of the wild. Nope. Let's go to this one. Let's just keep going until we <laughs> until we find it. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't been I've been playing this Mac pack for a while. Okay. So right there it is. Drum of the wild. That's exactly what we need. So what do we need to make that? We need living wood, leather, horn of the wild, and some more leather. So we got a bunch of this. The Horn of the Wild is actually made by taking a living wood and a pasture seed. To get a pasture seed, we need to drop more grass into a mana pool. So, I don't have any more grass, but we do have our shears. So let's jump back over to this area over here. And let's grab some grass real quick. There we go. Did we grab it all? Grab some of it. Okay, let's go back over here. Those are interesting plants. What are those? Ostrich fern. That's kind of cool. Let's go back over here and let's drop that grass in there. So we got a pasture seed. Where is that? Great. And how much living wood do we have? We only have four pieces. Poop. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Dump, dump, dump. And I was told, I know I made this comment in one of my videos, it does not matter if these are facing up or sideways. It'll still work. So let's go ahead and cut these down so we got enough. Hopefully this is enough to do with the rest of the project. I think the only other thing we're going to need is leather. Oh man, we didn't want to do that. Put that put that guy back. Okay, there we go. So we'll check and see how much leather we have. If we need leather, we'll go find some cows. But I think we have leather. I'm pretty sure we do. Let's just check. Uh, we have lots of leather. Awesome. Okay, let's just grab, let's just grab a bunch. Let's say that's 16 pieces. That should be enough. Uh, we can actually go ahead and craft this in here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's type in uh, what do we need? We need Drum of the Wild. 
which is right here. But first we need to make this. So let's do that. Got that. Good. And then we need to make this. Do we have enough to make that? Awesome. There it is. Now the drum of the wild, if you guys have never seen it, is freaking loud. So we're probably going to need to make a muffler uh, after this. So let's go ahead and put this up here. And then... You know what? We could probably... Let's do something. Let's, uh, let's break this. Let's put this here. Let's put this up one more. Put the drum of the wild like right here. Like that. And then... I think that if I plant this here, yeah, there it goes. So you can see that this thing is already picking up mana from the mana pool. And it's already starting to grow flowers as we speak. Now the drum of the wild isn't going to work until we flip a switch. Now I don't know if I put a switch here, if that thing, you know what, actually it needs to pull from this but I need to have it on a switch. So let me think about how I want to do this because once I turn this on, it just beats really loud, breaks all the flowers, and but I want to make sure that I can control all this because I want to I want to eventually turn all this on and off at the same time. I don't want a, a bunch of multiple switches. So let me see how I want to do this. Uh, and when we get back, we'll, we'll make it work. Be right back. Okay, so I think how I want to do this um, this this thing works off of a pulse from this thing. We've already bound it, so it's being bound. It's pulling mana out of there, but it won't do anything until it gets a a signal from this. Okay, and this thing is is working, but it's not getting any signal. So what we need to do is we need to tell this thing when to set off a signal, and the best way of doing that is an hourglass. So I think I'll go ahead and make another hourglass and then we can actually turn off this whole thing. We can turn this plant off because this plant here is the one that's going to be doing most of the work. So we can put a switch right here and just turn off the growth process because right now it's just growing flowers uh, until it fills up this little area. And we don't want it to do it all day long. So let's go ahead and make a switch. And that's pretty simple. If I Do I have any cobblestone? I don't even think I have cobblestone. Uh, let's just check. I don't think I do. We do have some polarized. We do have that cobblestone, so we could probably let's throw some of this back in there. We could chisel that down. I just need one piece, and then I just need, unless we already have a lever made, that'd be awesome. Oh, we do. Sweet. See, I knew what I was doing. So we got that. Let's just go ahead and make two of these, and then let's see what it takes to make an hourglass. We made that last episode. Uh, I think we did. And then, um, so it's going to take some mana glass, a mana steel ingot, some gold, and some redstone. So let's type in mana. And we got two mana glass. We're going to have to make a couple more. We need two of those. And then we need some more gold. Let's see. One, two, three. Whoops. Whoops. One, two, three, four. And then we just need some redstone. So let's get some redstone. Bam, 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 bam. And then what else do we need? Uh... Oh, I guess that's it. We only needed two of them. So let's go ahead and make this. Boom. Okay, cool. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is what do we want to fill it with? So uh, there's three things you can fill it with. There's regular sand, red sand, and soul sand. Uh, regular sand is every one second for each piece. Uh, red sand is 10 seconds, and then soul sand is every minute. Uh, and I don't want it to go off very often. And it's only going to actually work. I don't know if that's chunk loaded or not, but I'm just going to actually use soul sand. And, of course, we don't have any soul sand. Are you kidding me? Okay. So, that's a that's a bummer. Uh, do we have any in here? What about in here? No, we don't have any. Let me run to the nether real quick and get some soul sand. Short segment. Okay, so I went ahead and went into the nether and I got 60 pieces. Because I, I'm, I'm thinking that this is chunk loaded. Only because I have a chunk loader right there. So, this is getting chunk loaded. Um, so I don't want it to break flowers very often, and I probably only play maybe maybe once a day. So uh, let's just say that uh, we do 12 hours. This thing's going to do this 12 times. That's not that much. Uh, it's about enough for the plants that I need. And if it if it looks like it's going too much or I got too much plants, uh, the next time I log on, we'll change that. So let's go ahead and put this uh, right there. 
and we're going to go ahead and I'll show you what happens if I just put a switch on this. Um, I think I can just put, let's see, I just put, give it a signal. I think I can put a piece of dirt here. If I just flick this, it should work. Did it give it a signal? No, it did not. So I guess it just, just needs a redstone, a real redstone signal. I wonder why that doesn't work. Um, I wonder if I can get that switch on there. I can't. That's weird. Okay. Um, I want to show you how this works, guys. Let's do... Let's just get a piece of sand, because that's one second. And... Let's do, like, three seconds. And let's go over here, and this should work. If it didn't work, I'm doing something wrong. So, we did bind this. Unknown status. Um... I don't know if it needs to be sitting like right on top of a mana pool. I wouldn't think it does, but let's just check. So let's put a piece of sand in there. So when it twists, it should break everything. Oh, no, it didn't work. Okay, I must be doing something wrong. Let's get that out of there. So I got my sand back. Yeah, we did. Uh, I wonder if this needs to be sitting on top of there. Let me check something real quick. Be right back. All right, trial and error. This mana spreader, this is the redstone one. Let's go ahead and break, break. I don't want to break anything. Let's put this here. Let's bind this to this again. So it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and put this hourglass back on top of it. I think it, what it needed, where's my hourglass? Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? The hopper hot fell picked it up. Oh, that's, that's so funny, okay. I have to get used to that. Uh, let's put this on top of here. And let's see if this works this time. So let's put the three pieces of... Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So let's grab that back. And do that. Now let's see if this works. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Holy crap, it's breaking all my stuff in the background. So you can see that it's picking up a lot of flowers. So let's, let's stop it right now while we're good at it. Okay. So it does work, and it destroyed everything over here. Destroyed everything. So that's got a pretty big radius. I'm surprised because it didn't break any of these. That's kind of weird. Okay. So we're going to have to uh, come up with a better solution for back here. Was that that many saplings? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So let's uh, let's just throw away that and let's grab the rest of these. Those are all over the place. So it does work, as you can see. We'll have to we'll have to make make a wall or something over here. But what this thing right now is doing is it's just going to continue to grow plants, okay? And it's going to continue to do that. We're going to go ahead and throw this in here, all 60 of it. So it's going to run on 60 minutes. Every 60 minutes, it's going to pick them and put them in here, which is great. And then this thing will hopper hawk it out. And we got this thing all set up over here. It's going to continue going. I can actually go down here and probably... This is all stopped. This is completely filled. And this is probably log jam. So I can probably go ahead and turn this off. This has got plenty enough to keep going. Because if you remember, it's circulating. So it goes in here and goes back in. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm really happy with what we did today. If I can get back up through this hole... Uh, oh, come on. Let me out of my house. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay. So, that's been today's episode, guys. Episode number 18. Automation of Batania plants. Um, I think next episode, guys, we're going to get back into a little bit of the ME system here behind me. We're going to do a couple cool things with it. And then... Um, we'll just keep moving along it's a uh, interesting mod pack i'm enjoying it so if you guys are enjoying it click that like button it not only tells us that we're doing a good job uh, but also throws it on your twitter channel if you have twitter and also if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and also check out the other people that are recording on the midnight skies their links to their channels are in the description below i'll see you next time guys this has been episode number 18 see ya